Howdy, folks. It is a lovely morning. It is about, what time is it? 8.45, a little later than I'd like, but it's about uh, maybe 55 degrees. Supposed to push up towards 70 today, I think. So, of course, it's time to go fishing. And I've got the ultimate tool today of the scale. So, we're not getting shafted by these big old freaking sunfish anymore. And I'm finally going to weigh something. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about it. I think we're going to get it. So we're going to go hit up some spots that I have historically caught very large sunfish in. And we're going to see if maybe we can get something to raid our master angler. All right, we are at our first stop, which is the Highway Creek. We're starting on uh, kind of the money side of it. And it kind of runs down through here, real shallow. I can see some fish darting around down through there, but down over by the bridge typically where I do most of my catching so we're just gonna get to it see if I can pull out what I'm trying to catch here is a, uh, a long-eared sunfish I, I typically catch large ones of those in this area so that's what I'm shooting for today and we're trying to get half a pound so here's hoping let's see what we can pull out of here All right. Tiny rods ready. We're starting with a uh, little bitsy minnow, yellowish green and blue. And that's only because it was already tied on. The water is super clear, which is a little strange for this area. It's also pretty far down. But normally, at least this spot right here, the water's pretty murky. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. This might be a little more challenging just because of how clear it is. Right. Give it some tosses, see what we get. Well, I think because of the water being so low, I need to change out my lure. This one, uh, it dives down and it's just kind of scraping the bottom. So we're gonna switch out to a uh, plastic worm that I can keep kind of suspended in the middle. Got a little ribbon tail on there. I went with a real light colored, uh, like it, it's dark colored, but it's real translucent, transparent, transparent. I don't, is there a difference between translucent and transparent? I don't know, someone tell me. But uh, since the water's so clear, I figured I'd best go for something slightly more natural seeming. some little fish hitting at it it's a good sign good sign Ooh, that's not quite what I wanted I can see the fish every now and then I can uh, get a little glimpse it's a little hard to tell because it's so cloudy out here today Oop, that was a hit I felt that one but every now and then I can see them come in and take bites at it but they're little bitty guys that one hit though I got one I could feel so there's something of size over there missed him again all right we're I'm determined to catch at least one fish out of this place damn it but I think they might all just be a little too small which is really disappointing considering I came here for, uh, you know, big fish. Damn it. All right. So let's give those guys a break. Let's see if I can find anything cruising around in the more shallow areas. <clears throat> Everything seems just shallow, flat, no fishable area. I mean, I sort of expected coming up here. What the hell is this? Look at this. Someone's out here building a fort. Got stuff strung up everywhere, tying branches on. 
Something shiny up in there. What is that? What the world is that? Ugh. Ah, a jet lighter. So I'm gonna assume this is someone's uh, crack den or something, maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of effort to put into it, but I mean, it's kind of cool. But I don't think we're really gonna find much else. So. Go toss at the bridge a couple more times and then we'll call it on this spot. A little bit disappointing, but let's see if we can find something. Oh, I got one. Well, I caught a fish. And it's a bluegill. Not the fish I'm looking for. I mean, it, it's one of the fish, but not in this specific area. Definitely not the size I'm looking for. There's a little guy. What do we got here? A little bitty baby, tiny, large mouth. Oop. Got him close to the eye there. Shouldn't be an issue. Oop. There we go. His eye's fine. He's fine. He's tiny. He's lovely. Not what I am after. There's a fish. Nope, he's off. That was that was that was a strong bite. Oop, that is in the grass on the other bank. Nope, come out, please. There we go. If you would kindly cast the direction, I want you to go. Yes. There's a little guy. A little bluegill. Another little bluegill. Well, we have found some fish. I don't think we're going to find the sizes I want, though. Uh, traffic's light enough. I've never gone to the other side of this bridge here. Like, I've gone way down to the other bridge and around under it, but I've never been between these two. So I think, traffic's so light today being a Sunday, I'm going to try to cross the road and get down there. Little pocket right here. Right at the drain spot. I wonder if it's holding anything. It is. We have a green sunfish, okay. Absolutely not the size that I'm after. But, different type of fish. We're across the side road. Now we just gotta get over and down to the water. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, I can see some larger fish already. Well, let's see what we can make happen here. That's that's not gonna do it. I think one issue I might have is landing these fish. I'm up I'm up pretty high, so I mean if it's just a little sunfish. Not really an issue, but uh, anything larger than that could be. I caught a stick down there. Yeah, I can see it. Damn. Oh well. 
Bring up another one. We're going with a less natural approach now. Got uh, bright oranges and bright greens. You know, we tried natural. Got us a little bit of action. Let's see what less natural gets. Uh, this color's not really getting the results I had hoped for. I'm gonna change it out. Ow, I'm gonna stab myself in the thumb is what I'm gonna do. Let's use this green one. Uh, I'm gonna stick with, I don't know if y'all can see that at all, probably not. Well, it's still green, it's just a more natural green. Kind of pushing into second spot here. There's some tall grass. Maybe it'll help me hide from the fish. I can't just throw it right up into that brush pile there. Looks like somewhere fish should hang out. Yeah, it's a pretty good pass. And I got a bite out of it. There you go. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, it's a large mouth. I thought it felt kind of better. You got that down there, eh, buddy? You're a fat little feller. What do we got going on here? Ah. Let's see. I have to give you a little shake. There we go. The hook was down there in a way. I couldn't necessarily turn it in his mouth to unhook him. So I kind of held the end of it and I did this little flip thing and it worked out pretty well. Sometimes that doesn't work out pretty well, but this time it did. It's not something I recommend doing often. Well, kind of walked over here, which I've never done before, but this is Essentially my spot too is to park over there and fish this half of the river. This creek, stream, I don't know. But I've never been on this side. So, you know, we'll give it a shot before we walk over and do something I've done a million times. There's a fish. That's a better size. There we go. That's a big honking bluegill. That, big enough that he's gonna get weighed. Finally, put the scale to the test. Turn it on. Zeroed. Now we take our little hook doodad up in his gill and out his mouth. Ah, he's got to be one pound. He is almost seven ounces. All right, that'll give us a, uh, oops, put him back. Six ounce and five eighths, six and five eighths ounce. All right, that gives us a uh, bit of a scale for what we should expect size-wise for these things, I think. Because that, uh, that is a big old honking bluegill. Yeah, 
Man, maybe those uh, those golf course ones weren't quite what I thought they'd be. A one pounder, if that one's only not even half. All right. There's a fish. A sizable one. Is this a long ear? All right, this is a long ear. This is the one we're after for the half pound. So we'll weigh this guy too, because he'll be close. Scale on. All right. Hook into the gill up. Out the mouth. Oh, it's it's zeroed. It, or it's hold on. Zero. There we go. Five and an eighth. All right. Three ounces underweight. We need eight ounces. Bring this bag off. There we go. All right, all right, we're getting close. Getting close. I wonder if I drop it down into these sticks. They fish down in the sticks. All right, well, I'm snagged. So there's that. Kind of, kind of should have expected that. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the whole stick in. I could probably get down there close enough to grab this stupid thing. What do I got going on here? I'm gonna tangle around this thing. Very slippery mud here. Just gotta this there we go and recover all right big old bass right there this is a bad idea the lure landed on him and he didn't give a damn like i saw it bounce off his back and he just kept on cruising little guy but a long ear not what we're after though we know dang well you're too small there's a fish you're not gonna make the cut little bluegill Well, back over at the bridge because I've kind of run out of room to walk on this side of the bank. Well, I'm making my way back to the car and we'll just drive around over here to the parking lot and uh, fish the rest of this little area. First, another bluegill. Not a bad one, but not the size we're after. Yeah. You ain't charging in for that, didn't you, buddy? There no. All right. They definitely like this green better than that bright green over here. Because it wasn't really getting much attention at all. The long ear, too small to make the cut.
Holy shit. There's a bowfin right here. I am in no way. I mean, I, I could. I could probably handle him. Not interested in my little grub, though. I'm gonna put it right in front of his face until he bites it. He's not moving. I can see him, though. Usually they'll just grab anything that floats in front of him. He's got it. Oh, he bit at it, but he missed. Did he take off? I think he took off. There's a big old mud cloud. Damn! Damn it! Yeah, he's probably gone. Bit in some mud. Ugh, that would have been exciting. Ow! Smack my head on top on the bridge. Ow. <sighs> There's a fish. A little bitty guy. Are you a bluegill? Yeah, little bluegill. Not gonna make the cut. What do we got here? Long ear. These things are just so damned pretty. There we go. But we already know he's not going to make the cut. Another little guy. Ah, the long ears. Pretty, pretty fish. But not what we're after. Well, it, not the size we're after. The fish is correct. Or another one. This one's closer. I don't know if he's bigger than the other one or not. I don't know. Why not? We'll weigh him. Ex give us an excuse to play with the scale. A quarter pound. You're as much as a uh, burger, there, buddy. I think that one was actually smaller. I don't remember what the other one was. I feel like it was uh, it was five. Or something. This one's a bluegill. I already know you're not big enough. Uh, you got that lure in there, though, don't you? Ow! Stop! Stop stabbing me! Bluegills are going to have to be a lot bigger than I initially thought. You're another big boy, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to make the cut. Nah, you're definitely too small.
This fish is absolutely too small. Good try, buddy. I appreciate your effort. All right, we've driven across the highway. We were fishing right over there and under those bridges. Now we're gonna go and fish through here. And I've switched back to my Bitsy Minnow because I like throwing it and I know the water's deeper here and it'll, uh, it'll swim just fine. Hopefully, with a kind of larger lure and moving around a good bit more, maybe the bigger fish will be more inclined to come eat it. <clears throat> had to run back to the car because I didn't have my phone on me. I had to take a picture with this damn fish if I ever catch one. So, back to our grub. Got me a, uh, got me a flannel back on. They're getting a little chilly. Now we refish the creek. Hello, bass. There's a large mouth sitting right there. There we go, there's something. Bluegill, not big enough, buddy. Thanks for trying. Way too small. Another bluegill. Another definitely too small. You'd make good bait though. Maybe you could get us the catfish category. There we go. There we go. That's a green sunfish. You're a hefty fella. You're definitely gonna get weighed. So green sunfish, we need one pound. Scale out, scale on. No, 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 no. You come back, come back. Come here. And, oh, damn it, I'm trying to get this hook in right. There we go. In. Zero it out. There we go. All right, so almost a half pound on the green. We're learning fish sizes here. Man, getting a uh, long ear that size, that seems like a challenge. I guess that's the whole point. So it's a challenge. And he destroyed my little lure. All right, I got one more green one left. Well, that's going to do it for today. Getting pretty hungry. It's about, uh, what time is it? Um, this is taking a long time. All right, you know, it would have been faster to just do this anyway. Yeah, it's a little afternoon. So, I mean, I've been out here grinding for a hot second. Uh, we did not catch the fish we wanted. We got, we got some good fish, though. Uh, we got a nice bluegill, which was almost half a pound, which is half as big as we needed. But we did get close on the long-eared sunfish. Uh, our biggest one on that was, I think, six ounces? Maybe it was five. I don't know. But uh, that's close. We needed eight ounces. So we got close on that one. And then we got a half-pound green sunfish, which is, again, half as big as we needed. But, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're not, we're not doing awful. We're just not doing good enough. So I'll, uh, 
I'm gonna find some other places to go some other time and uh, think about some options on what to do and we're gonna get this done this is this is a goal of mine for this year is to get at least one of these damn things so until next time uh, see ya <laughs>